outside and this is my first greenhouse. Let me pull you around. I did this myself. Of course I bought the stuff and then I put it all up and it took me a while. With the help of my uh, great assistant here, <laughs> Liam Mateo and my uh, wife and of course my little one Candice. I build this, all right? So now let me tour you around. So basically, this is gonna be our outside farm right here. Beautiful neighborhood, okay? Uh, so right now I have a 10 by 20 greenhouse, as you can see. It has a uh, holes over there, so when I build it later and put some uh, uh, air uh, conduction, uh, so that the, the air will go inside. Also, because the sun is so bright here in the morning, I added a layer of shading, as you can see, so that, you know, it's not too hot. It gets real hot here in Bakersfield, California for the summertime, so I'm prepared for that. I put the shade, and uh, as you can see, it's all around. But over here, it's a little short, so I'm gonna have to add. So you can see I have another vacant room right here for another greenhouse, another 10 by 20. Uh, I'm gonna add that as soon as I finish building my first one. And then we have a lot more space right here to do our uh, farming. So this is the inside. As you can see, we have plenty of room here. It's a 10 by 20. So there's a lot of stuff I can do. So my plan here is on the right side, I'm gonna build a Dutch bucket system. So you can see, I already started that. I have a, uh, a pipe all the way down from here to the end. Right here, we have the, the elbow where the water will come back. And at the other end right here, there is an end cap. So the water will not go anywhere, okay? So this is the return pipe. Later on, I'm gonna put a, a pump so that the water will go to those buckets. All right, and uh, those are our bucket system right there. Right now, this is what we're gonna do first. And when I'm done with that, then there's another side. We're gonna do the same bucket system. Uh, we can plant tomatoes, cucumber, peppers, anything that goes up that uh, in a vine, okay? And you will see all that because I'm gonna show you how to build all that. But in the middle right here, I'm gonna put a, uh, a nice crack key method uh, or NFT, depends. So that uh, what will happen is we'll have two sides with Dutch bucket and in the middle, we'll have a uh, crack key and NFT. Uh, we don't have a star foam, but plastic and with the cups and you will see We'll see that when I do it, okay? Now we are done. As you can see, I created holes in uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten buckets right now. But uh, we have an extra holes here. One, two, three, four, five, six more. So I'm, I'm gonna need to buy six more buckets and place it on all, all this uh, holes right here. So. It's not that hard, you just gotta have the right tools to do it, and uh, there you go. So the next thing I'm gonna do now is run the water system and then test it out before I put the medium and plant my tomatoes and cucumber. We got the pipe ready, put a hole in it. We got our little table. So now I added uh, the water uh, cable right here so that uh, that's the one that's gonna drip into the to the plant okay so let me show you guys how I did that um, over here this is a
Costco eight dollar twenty five gallon. And then I have my water pump right here. Okay, so what I did is just attach the tube right here. All right, and then uh, that's going to be our main pump. And then the tube will come out here, and I will put a uh, a dripping emitter is right here to make sure that drips into the plant. Okay, so slowly but surely, but we'll get there. All right, so thank you. Okay, so folks, now we set up the water. We put some water, turn on the pump. Now look what happened. So the water is now dripping. We got two drips, so we have to uh, figure out the level of flow of water. But all those guys are dripping now, all the way down there. So now we're gonna wait for the return of water once the bucket is uh, filled up. Uh, folks so here we go again so now that we know all the water are flowing good nicely now it's time now it's time to put the medium and then plant our tomatoes so for now what we're gonna put is a what you call a hydroton okay so we're gonna put like a quarter or not even a quarter in the bucket about this high and then after that we will put a perlite and make it all the way up to here and then another hydrotone on top okay so I'm gonna do that right now folks so here we are early in the morning we will uh, finish up today with our Dutch bucket system uh, planting tomatoes okay so right now everything is set up I dried it up overnight so now I cleaned up the, the dirty bucket water 25 gallon water so now I'm gonna put the real uh, water with nutrient solution uh, I am using a mustard blend for tomatoes for our nutrient solution. So I'm going to fill this out now with water with nutrient solution or not salt. And then uh, after that, I'm going to run the system. And when, once everything is okay, I'm going to plant the tomatoes. Okay, so stay with me. I'm almost there. Well, here it is. Good morning, folks. And finally, it's done. Okay, so here's our Dutch bucket system. As you can see, everything is good. Now it's the water is flowing. You can see that. And all of them, uh, I have to switch it. Uh, if you remember, I used to have two emitters for each bucket. And then now I switch it to one emitters only. Uh, it makes the, the water flow better and consistently so here it is folks after a few days I finally did it uh, as you can see each one of them have a vine with a grip on each tomato so that you can just adjust it as they grow and then uh, when they grow big you know they'll climb up to the vine and hopefully will provide us a lot of tomato fruit. Uh, as you can see, some of them are big. Uh, all the way there at the end, 
They're smaller because there are two types of tomatoes. One is cherry, the one you can see all the way by the end there. And then these big ones are big tomatoes. Uh, now, as you can see, they're big already because they've been waiting in our in my NFP uh, play uh, my NFP stuff in the garage. So when I transfer them, they're already big. But it's okay because now you can see some of them have a flower already, and hopefully, we will see some fruit, you know, soon rather than later. So here you go, folks. So now I'm done with my first dash bucket system the next one I'm going to show you guys is right here in the middle As you can see I started our uh, crack key and um, I will talk to you guys about that next time and also we're gonna put some more on this side another Dutch bucket uh, we're gonna plant some cucumbers and peppers okay so as of for now I want to say thank you, but uh, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so take care and mabuhay.